Hi everyone, I'm back. This is part two of Tupac. There's more to his story. So on the first one, I left off on seeing him, you know, in water and he was floating. It appears like that particular moment that I saw, that I saw a glimpse of, what I the message that I received from that was that he was being baptized, but there was another um message with that is that when he was floating in water how i decode that was basically waters basically sit unconscious okay it signified life it signified emotions and it signified memories for me um and that's like the spiritual meaning as well um but that's something i did did come to realize when it comes to water it's like it's the basically it holds your memories it holds the subconscious like when you drink water it allows you to gain consciousness if that makes sense because water is life so i just wanted to make that clear so when i saw him floating right away i heard the message or i got the understanding that he was being baptized so like he's being cleansed but then i heard a lot like i, I saw something else with this um because i know what water represents and he was floating. And as he was floating, he was talking. And if you guys are familiar, very familiar with Tupac, he's very passionate when he speaks. Very flamboyant and very, like, um, passionate. That's the best way I could describe him. Very passionate. He wear his heart on his sleeve. or uh, He wear his heart as a sleeve or something. You guys get what I'm trying to say. But uh, he really wear his heart. He's very vulnerable. But that's the type of person I did come to um, see and understand about him. I could see him, see his soul. So he was speaking, and he was talking about this one particular woman. Um, and he was very, like, um, animated, I can say. And, like, I don't want to put word. Like, it seemed like he was angry. Like, he was very frustrated, angry. Like, frustrated, angry about this woman. And when he was speaking, it sounded just like the speech that I heard um, on one of the... Um, Tupac mix I, I I listened to I came across to it sounded just like the intro and he was talking about the same person that I saw in my that he was speaking about on my vision and I'm going to play for you guys this the speech that he did it, it sounded like he was doing a live performance and he was talking about a situation regarding this woman so there's something significant when it comes to this woman so part three I'm going to share that with you guys Mm-hmm. <laughs>